Hello everyone, this is Ken Ebrony and welcome to Cambridge Tech. So in the last video, we looked at our login and logout views, how we can route them. And we didn't have to do much. All that we needed to do was to use the inbuilt Django login and logout package that's already created for us. Now in this video, we are going to look at user specific page. Okay, so for instance, I made mention in the last video that we are going to have two group of users or two type of users. We are going to have an admin and a staff. And as you saw me in the demonstration of the main project, we saw that a user has some limited functionality as far as the web application is concerned. And admin has more functionality. But first of all, we are going to look at how we can restrict users into not abusing our website. So now we have John already registered, so we can log in with John. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to log in over here. Now John gets logged on onto the main dashboard now when john logs out okay nothing prevents john from typing forward slash dashboard over here okay and john still get access to the page and this is not fair because it kind of defeats the purpose for which you want to build this application because then clearly anybody knowing the url can just type in the url and that person is good to go we need to enforce authentication and authorization so the first thing we are going to do is I'm just going to go back here. Okay, so we are going to go back into our projects. So inside VS Code, I'm going to go into my dashboard application. And inside dashboard application, I'll come to views.py. So in views.py, I'm going to run another import. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say from Django dot contrib dot auth dot and this time around we are going to use what we call decorators we want to import login required decorator so this is a login required decorator and these are inbuilt stuff we can use for our website so what this decorator simply does is we can apply this decorator on the views for which we want to enforce that yes you need to log in before you have access to this view so for instance with the index page, this is returning the index.html. And this one, for instance, we need to enforce login before we have access to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the at symbol and call in the login required. Now there are two ways of actually handling this. I can do it this way. And what I'm going to do is after doing this, I can actually specify. So there's a lookup over here, it says function none required field name redirect field name and things of that sort so login url so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in login underscore url and login underscore url is equal to and this time around i'm going to say user dash login so what this simply means is yes i'm using the login required decorator and whenever you try accessing index you are not authenticated you've not been registered onto the application i'll ask you to log in first before you can have access to the index.html so like i said there's one way of doing it so we can also apply it to the other pages as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this i'll do a control c bring it here bring it here and i think it is with all the views i have over here all right so this is or this should be working perfectly so when i come back into my dashboard and let me log in as john once again then i'll type in my password for john so when i log in yes we are good to go now let me log out and try doing what i did the other time so i'll do dashboard and clearly it says that i need to log in okay because it is enforcing me that I need to log in. I cannot just come here and type in dashboard. So what I'm going to do is then I need to log in as John as I have over here and I'll type in my password. So clearly we are good to go. All right. So like I said, there are two ways of handling this. Let me show you the other way. So with the other way, let me clear off everything we have over here. as far as the login required is concerned. 
all right so if i should save this and come back over here to come and refresh if without logging in i can just go to the dashboard page okay without logging i can go to order the other page and things of that sort okay so this is what we want to prevent so what i'm going to do is we are still going to get the login required over here so i'll do at i'll do login required and instead of typing the url over here we can um let me first of all put them all over these pages so as far as all these pages are concerned we need to log in before we have access to these pages now let's go to settings.py and write about anywhere but then i prefer to have it here i'll type in login underscore url and this is going to be exactly where i want us to redirect and enforce the login so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say user dash login and that's the url i want so this is um almost same as what you have over here but with what we did we specified it in the views we just put it in the settings.py in this instance so if i should come back here and come and refresh when i try um, going into dashboard it asks me to log in first okay and let me log in as john so john is here and this is john's password and yeah we are good to go so when i log out and try to have access to the dashboard page i'm being asked or i'm being forced to log in so this is actually a good feature as far as building django applications are concerned all right so we are done with um, one of the objectives for this particular video now the next video we are going to look at is how we can organize um, our two main groups okay so what i'm going to do is first of all let me log in as an admin so we have admin and let me log in. i think we changed the name to admin one and this is my password all right so we have admin over here and let me have access to the admin panel okay so i'll log in as admin one and i'll type in my password all right so we are quite used to the django admin panel and i made mention of the users the users are basically all the users you have registered onto our application and now we have groups over here now we can create groups okay so we are going to create groups and we are going to assign roles to those groups but clearly you can see that admin is having a lot of permissions because we have permissions over here admin is active admin is um, of a status staff and admin is also a super user now when i come back to other users like um like brony brony is not a staff and brony is not a super user all right so we can use we can actually pick on these permissions and do the restrictions one way or the other all right so what we are going to do is we are going to go into our we are going to go into our templates so let me collapse these ones okay so we go into our templates and dashboard all right so it is within index.html that i want to have different kinds of views for my user so this is what i'm going to do we've seen this before we've seen something like if user dot is authenticated okay if the user is authenticated then you want to render this page okay so clearly even before we get into our index page the user is going to be authenticated but then this also to enforce it all right so if user dot is authenticated then we come to the very bottom over here and end our if so let me just collapse this over here and we are going to end our if down here so let me just bring it over here so i'll say end if okay so this is not going to change much of the logic that we have over here so 
let me just log in and this is admin one and this is my password all right so we are good to go now we are going to put out some logic over here and this is very interesting so we are seeing that if the user is authenticated yes log in and show these graphs as we saw over there and we are also going to add in more functionality over here and we are going to say end user dot is underscore staff so if the user dot or if the user is staff okay you also want to see this and remember as far as the staff permissions are concerned let me go back to users you can see that admin is of the status staff okay admin is of the status staff and say designate whether the user can log on to the admin site okay so these are more functionalities over here so once again let's come back here let me see yes i've saved this and when i refresh and try and log in we have admin one we have admin one over here and here's my password yes we get login but now let's try and log in as one of the users who is not um let me log in once again so I have admin one, one, two, three, four. So when I come back to my users, for instance, I have um, Bruni over here, and Bruni is not of the status staff. So clearly, Bruni is not going to have access to our main dashboard. Okay. So now let me log out once again, and if I try logging and if i type in bruni and i put in my password over here and try and log in it doesn't show me what i'm supposed to see as far as the admin dashboard is concerned okay and that's essentially what you want to implement so if you are an admin you can see this if you are not an admin you are not supposed to see this and you're actually using the staff status and the super user status to implement some of these things so in order to finish this up we're also going to say that and is sorry and user dot is underscore super user so this line of code and let me close this up over here i'll open it up again so we are saying that if the user is authenticated and the user is staff and the user is a super user so all these conditions needs to be met before you can have access to the graphs and everything that we have over there good now if that's not the case they want to render something for other users who don't have such privileges so i'm going to come down here and i'm going to type in or i'm going to put in our else statement over here so else for the else let's just try and do something over here so i'll put in a container and i'll put in an h3 tag and i'll say staff page so this is the staff page okay so once again let me go over so we are saying that if the user is authenticated and the user is a staff and the user is a super user render whatever we have as far as the graphs the dashboard and everything is concerned else then clearly that person is going to be a staff so else you render the staff page so let's come back here and log out okay so when i log in as admin one admin one has all those um permissions so when i log in i get to see the dashboard and everything now when i log out and log in as bruni and when i type in my password and i come in here now i see that i have staff page remember it is still routing the same dashboard okay nothing has changed much when i click on this it doesn't send me anywhere it still puts me in that page because that's the logic we are trying to put over there so clearly we are routing different pages for different type of users based on the permissions they have 
so what i'm going to do is now then we need to build this um, interface properly okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into our dashboard okay and i'm going to build or i'm going to create a new template so i'll call this staff underscore index dot html so staff underscore index dot html then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this and put it here now you've seen this before now we can actually use the include template tag over here so i'm going to say include i'm going to say include then what do you want to include you want to include staff underscore index dot html but then staff underscore index dot html is going to be in the dashboard is in the dashboard folder then i'm going to say staff underscore index dot html all right so this is basically going to give us the same outlook okay so when i refresh we still have this so it is here that we want to build the interface properly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put out a rule over here all right so right at the back of this what i'm going to do is i have within my code cool snippets and this is not or uh, this was not actually part of the original presentation i did as far as building the interface was concerned i think i missed that one out but i have this um stuff underscore index.html snippet over here i include it in the final projects so what i what we are going to do is we are going to copy everything we have over here so i'll do a control c so that you don't have to worry about building it from scratch okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste this over here so i'll do a control v and i think yeah so let me let me see okay so let me get rid of this div tag and yeah yeah so i think this is just about it as far as the interface is concerned okay so when i come back here to come and refresh we clearly see that we have this built out for us okay and when you click on i mean this is just the index as far as that's a user who is not an admin is concerned okay so when we log out and now if we should log in as an admin okay we log in as admin one one two three four for our password if you log in we see that we get directed onto the main dashboard because we are an admin we have those privileges but then if we should log out and log in as a staff and have Bruni as a staff i'll type in my password and if i log in this way we now get directed to the user or the staff specific page so in this video you've actually learned how to use the creators to restrict users from perhaps maybe abusing our websites and we've also learned about how we can use the inbuilt users okay the permissions over here to also kind of write some logic in order to have some user specific pages for our website now this may not be the most preferred way people may want to use but then for the purpose of this project it serves the purpose and i think it's something you should learn now if you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel and you subscribe to cambro tech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambro tech we say learn programming you can do it also don't forget to ask any question if you do have one in the comment section thank you very much and bye bye